Right, police prosecutors and community members in Hennepin County agree on one thing. There's been an alarming increase in crimes committed by juveniles, especially auto thefts. Of course, they do not all agree on how to solve the problem. A group of parents and community activists today expressed concerns there is not a cohesive plan in place. They think that could be contributing to the problem. What we are looking for and asking for is for a redistribution and reallocation of resources into community organizations and into community spaces so that we can do our part to take care of our young people. Renee Cooper joins us to break down solutions being proposed by Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty, also a local police department on this. That's right, Lindsay. And St. Paul police tell me that they've gotten more than a thousand reports of stolen cars this year. In Minneapolis, it's more than 4,000. And MPD tells me of the top 10 known auto thieves in the city, the average age is 15. It's happening in smaller cities too, like in Crystal, where police tell me there's been a nearly 20% increase in car thefts this year. Crystal Police Lieutenant Peter Underthun tells me just in the last two weeks, his department was involved in two chases with 14-year-old drivers, one with a 12-year-old passenger. We had uh, four stolen cars from three, three or four different jurisdictions in one night. He says all three had a history of auto theft and were released from the juvenile detention center days before. And they tell our officers, we have it on body cam, them saying, yeah, I'll go in for a couple days and I'll be right back out and I'll be doing the same thing. He says once officers forward preliminary charges to the court, they don't know what comes of those kids until they're caught again. We too will hold ourselves accountable and make sure that we get charging decisions made much more quickly than we have in the past. Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty says if a juvenile is arrested but ultimately released, her office will now decide whether to charge them within a day and have them in court within three days. Part of multiple changes she announced Wednesday to combat this crisis. We need to meet them where they are. Um, we need to get them resources, people who understand brain development, who understand kids. Moriarty also promising a closer collaboration with law enforcement. We are going to ask you to collect information about youth and share it with us. And when they're stopped by police, a social worker will be sent to the juvenile's home right away, connecting the family to voluntary rehabilitation support. Actually, when you divert most kids, they don't come back. A step in the right direction, according to Underthun, whose officers are regularly having to decide whether to pursue teenagers on a car chase. We just want to see there be some accountability on the back end so that we don't have to make those life or death decisions on almost a daily basis. Now, Moriarty also added fleeing to the limited list that, of charges that officers can book a juvenile into the detention center for. And she admits there's still a gap in those physical buildings mm -hmm. they can put them in or those right. rehabilitation services in the county. And that's something Lieutenant Underthun would like to see come back. Yeah, there's a the, lot of pressure. And it's not just Hennepin County. No, either. no, not by a long shot. Okay. Brittany, thank you.